Hey guys, how's it going? Scott here from scottsbasslessons.com and we're here today with something a little bit different. You can actually win Hang on, one of... a little bit different? Well, normally I'm here and I'm just like sitting with the bass and now you're with the bass. Jeff or, you know... Or Jeff, yeah, now we've got Phil. I need, a, I need a Mac. <laughs> yeah, 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 to ask the questions on. <laughs> but we're with Phil Mann. Uh, Phil's just released a brand new course into the Academy called Chord Tone Concept Masterclass and it's actually based on this little bad boy here. So if you are an Academy member over at Scott Space Lessons, make sure you check out that course. We released it just a couple of days ago, um, and he goes through a lot of the stuff that's in here. But what we're gonna be doing today is you can be able to win a couple of these books. You know, well, we're not gonna send the same person two no, books. No, two we'll, we'll find two, two different people. Yeah, and we've got a question. It's like a puzzle, it's a... Uh, Cryptic? It's, crypto, it's, it's uh, not a Rubik's Cube, is it? What is it's it? not a Rubik's Cube. It's a, it's a cool question, and you're going to have to answer this question, get out your calculators and work it out. I, Phil asked me, and I was just like, I have no idea. He Actually, told, that was, that he was, told me the that answer. That was the most glazed I've ever seen your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> like rab his, rabbit in a headlight. This, this yeah, lost yeah, boy yeah, yeah. all of a sudden. It, 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 <laughs> it was tough. And you'll find out the question at the end of this lesson, or the end of this video. Um, but before we get to that and tell you how you can win this awesome book of Phil's, uh, Chord Tone Concepts, Phil, you've written an entire book on it. I've written three. You've written three. I'm so, attempting to write three. So there's, there's a better way of doing it. Two and it? three is on the way, isn't it? Two's on it. Two's pending. Uh, do you know what? What I'd like, I, I'm not. There's a lot of guys out there that have done some serious texts. I mean, yeah. you talk about Stu Clayton, Baseline Publications. Man. Yeah. He's, he's got about, I think there's a photograph of him on a stack of books, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I, even if I've got books He's releasing way, a book a month. Yeah, I can't keep yeah, up. He's, yeah. he's a don, he's a don. Um, you know what I found out? I found out that you spend a year writing it, you spend two years editing it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah, And I, I, my English is terrible, as is the typos. They're pretty horrific. So I kind of, uh, yeah, you know, book two's been pending. I actually tried to get it out for the base show in London last March, yeah. which is when we hung out uh, with all the SBL yeah, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, that didn't happen because I had a couple of tours come in and I had a couple of cool shows. Uh, so I didn't get put on the back burner. And then, you know, I, I, I try and say, I say it to all my students all the time is, and I, I hope it doesn't come across like it's being disrespectful, but I'm a bassist before I'm an author. I'm a yeah, bassist before I'm a teacher. You're gigging every night. So you're I'm gigging eight, week, eight nights a week. The thing is, is that I got a bit busier than I expected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been put back and back and back. So yeah, the idea was book two's pending. Uh, when book two comes out, we release book one as an ebook. Yeah. And then when book three comes out, we do book two as an ebook. The same kind and, of thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, we'll get there soon. And we'll it's, there it's, soon. it's called Chord Tone Concepts. Yeah. It's obviously concepts around chord tones. Yeah. But for the listeners, because I'm sort of like super into chord tones, I hammer on about it all the time. You hammer on it about it all the time. Jeff Berlin hammers on it about it all the time. Carol Kay hammers on it. There's something there, right? So for anybody watching this, you know, if they don't even know, what, like, what are chord tones? Wow. It's the key to employment. How's that? Yeah, I think. yeah, You yeah. know, um, let's let, let take it from a case study, you know, kind of a personal one, I suppose. Um, I remember sitting down, rinsing every scale under the sun, and being able to play everything in every key, every mode, every arpeggio. Uh, you know, it's not, not child virtuoso, but you know, guys that just, just reel it off like it's some it's sport rather yeah, than yeah, music, yeah. you know. And loved that, but wasn't getting the right gigs. And after a key spell, shall we say, under guidance of Jeff, Mr. Berlin. Who did the forward for this book? Yeah, he did, yeah, yeah. And uh, I kind of learned why, and it was not understanding, from my personal re reflection on this, it was not understanding resolutions. Yeah. You know, I, I would play the wrong notes at the wrong time, it'd leave things hanging, it'd leave things unresolved, and actually just a bit nasty to the ear. So people kind of like, I don't know if he's choosing the right notes. You know, like the music industry is 100% about personalities, A, who you hang out with and who you get in with, but also who you connect with musically. Yeah. So I think, you know, maybe I might have trod on a few tails, uh, you know, take a few toes, a few tails, <laughs> as I was kind of growing up, and I learned the hard way, you know, and, and I, so I wanted to get it together, you know, and went out and saw Jeff after a lot of studying here. I wasn't getting what I wanted in the UK. I went out to the States and Jeff kind of stripped it away and started again and redefined me as a bass player in ways of what you should be playing, how it plays, what's your, your, your role, 
Yeah. But then also we looked at how I was being employed. So what I was doing at the time, I wasn't virtuoso soloist at the top end and stuff. I liked doing that stuff. Um, I wasn't standalone solo player like, you know, sort of uh, Martin Taylor and stuff like that. Yeah. It wasn't my thing either at the time. I was just a group, you know, sort of grass level hard bass player. Yeah. So it was about making that product better. So yeah, we contacted, uh, really focused on chord tones. And the fellows, like I said, to bring it back to your question, you know, chord tones are the underlining definition of music. They're the strongest tonality to go with harmony. So um, when somebody plays a chord, yeah, and yeah. you play chord tones, which are the, what that chord is made up from, exactly. you're playing all the juicy notes. All the juicy stuff. And yeah. as a bass player, you know, you're that kind of bridge between the rhythm section from kit and yeah. then the harmonic section, be it pianist or you know guitar or whatever. You've got to hold it all together. So you play rhythms and you play melodically the stuff that they're representing. Yeah. And you know, how many times you hear that, that guy's a solid bassist, you know, duck done. Yeah, Man, he's yeah, recorded yeah, yeah. on more stuff than I'm going to record in my entire life. Ninety yeah. percent of it was just triads at first, yeah. and he got called back again and again and again because he did his job and he did it well. Um, in the mix, he played what producers wanted, songwriters wanted, and he was a, an out-and-out bassist. So yeah, I kind of started again, and that's what gave birth to the book because, you know, the book's really a diary. Yeah. You know, I, of what you were working on. Yeah. To completely yeah. change your playing and your approach. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I was very systematic did this, did this, do this, do this, do this, and the book, rather than see it as an academic text, I don't want to be slanderous to universities and stuff like that, but academics will say, you do this, do that. It isn't, it's a diary. Yeah. And I think anyone that gets that book, don't read it like you're expecting to be told exactly how to, I, tried to, I do try to do that, but it is actually just my story of what I've studied, and then book two is what I went on to then, and book three is where I went to there, so that's good. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, and no, we're not saying that scales, like, don't use scales. I like, am. Um, you know, <laughs> are you saying that? A little bit. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do use scales, but un underlying under all that, I'm definitely visualizing, like, all the key points, that my sort of, my focused areas of where I'm going to resolve to, and right, well, it's just, you know, how I navigate around the fretboard, is absolutely based from yeah. arpeggios, which are chord But I mean, tones. if you talk about scale content, and you yeah. say, yeah, you study scales exclusively, all right, well, let's take two scales. Here's mode one, Ionian. Yeah. And if we play it parallel, here's Lydian. On the same spot. Yeah. The chord tones, the guide tones, root, third, fifth, seven are the same. Yeah. They don't change. The, the extensions are changed, the 11. So as a bassist, if I'm going to be presented with that chord with either extension on there, my chord tones, my triad works the same. Yeah, yeah. So from my perspective, the difference between playing Ionian and Lydian is only the resolution. Fourth results to the third or fourth results to the fifth. So my way of thinking, rather than I say, yeah, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you, just playing devil's advocate. Yeah. I'd prefer to have every single permutation and knowledge of my triads, yeah. but then know where the resolutions are yeah, 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 to yeah, produce yeah, the yeah, scale. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, mapping, scale, information, absolutely brilliant. But again, it comes back down to understanding the resolutions and the core construction. Do you think, like, this is a personal question for me, do you know when you think about, say, sort of like a C major 7 sharp 11, right? So a Lydian that you played there. Do you view that as like a C major 7 first and then the extensions going up yeah, above there? Yeah, definitely. Because that's what I do. Yeah, I, yeah. I think sort of like root third, fifth, 7, 9, Sharp 11. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Even again, if I'm viewing that all within the same octave, mm. I'm still thinking in my mind, root third, five, seven, nine, sharp 11. Well, again, it comes down to, you know, if, if you're a, a, a pianist or something, they would play a triad. They'd play a bass note and then a triad to get the extensions. Yeah, yeah. No, because extensions are just triads, aren't they? Yeah, right. yeah. Major triad from the nine, you get the nine, yeah, 11, yeah, 13. Yeah. So, you know, a pianist, can I do this? Let me think. Um, that's not going to work. There's your 11 yeah, 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 by, yeah, by yeah, playing yeah. pins. Well, yeah. yeah, but from a bassist perspective, where you are in the mix, where your job is harmonically, that's what you'd be playing. Yeah. A soloist would then do the extensions, but the extensions are only relevant if the bass has got the foundation. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of where the book's going. The book's kind of, rather than saying, let, it's saying less is more, what we're saying is maybe where everyone goes on studies, I don't know, Triads, sevenths, pentatonics, 
scales, scales over two octaves, me, I'm going, hang on, let's go back to triads and see what we can do with that. Yeah, and let's yeah, go a lot yeah. further with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah and that's where the permutation exercises come from. And that's where <clears> and in this, in this book, you go through all the permutations, don't you? So yeah. Like, well, permutations, we mean sort of like different inversions and then different like third, uh, third, fifth root, th third, uh, third, seven root. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, and all yeah. the, the question, by the way, that we're going to ask you guys for your chance to, uh, to win a book is, is based on what we're talking about now. So take notes. <laughs> well, it, it comes down to it, does it? You know, when you're playing, when you think about triads um, as basis, you know, we've seen that shape, you know, um, root for a fifth. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen the root for a fifth a million times and we yeah. always see it ascending. Yeah. Well, can you do the same harmonic information presented melodically in a different format? without changing the colour of the context. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole idea of permutations. Rather than going root third fifth, root third fifth, root fifth third, third root fifth, third fifth root, fifth root third fifth third root. Yeah. And this all, is just triads. It's this, just a triad. We haven't even added in the seventh That's no, so, just yeah. major. Yeah. So then when you go first inverse and you can do the same thing. Yeah. Second inverse you can do the same thing again. So the question is are you getting the full distance out of the most important information? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we ask them the question? Ask the question, yeah. Right. <laughs> Let me Do you just, remember it? <laughs> here's the question. Right. What we want, we want you to answer in the comments, okay, and like this video. And then we're going to randomly pick somebody. Okay, so here we go. How many permutations of a simple major seven arpeggio, okay, how many per permutations of a simple major seven arpeggio Taking into consideration all 12 keys, can you come up with? Okay, so how many permutations? So the permutations are um, root third fifth, third fifth root, blah, blah, etc., etc. How many permutations taken into consideration all 12 keys and importantly, all inversions can you come up with? Okay, get out your calculators. And let us know in the comments and make sure you like the uh, like the video and we'll uh, we'll pick a couple of win winners and uh, send you a couple of these uh, yeah. these sexy books if you want to check out the book where do they go phil do they just give you a shout on facebook SBL or campus. Like yeah you know, yeah, 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 you know yeah. i'm uh this is the man for technology uh facebook uh there's direct links you just message me direct there's no admin nothing it's just me i put a stamp on it send it to you simple as that so find Phil on Facebook. I'll put a link below or yeah. a link somewhere on here so you can find him. Obviously, if you are an Academy member, you can find Phil just wandering around the campus. I'm on Academy, yeah, yeah. He's wandering yeah. around the campus and you can message him directly on there. And it, as well, if you're an Academy member, make sure you check out the, the course that Phil's just done, which is called Concepts Masterclass, where he's talking about some of the stuff in the book. And also look out for Phil doing more stuff with Scott's Basis as well. In fact, we're just recording another course today. Whole new course. Whole new course today. And so, we're gonna be, well, it looks like we're going to be doing two more courses. So we so. did one course, eight <laughs> lessons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which went yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yesterday, so yesterday. we'll be uploading this on Thursday, so Thursday. two days ago. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think. So we got eight lessons. We just recorded another eight lesson course, and there might be some other stuff in the pipeline. Like at least two more mm, courses. Maybe. At least two more courses. We'll Probably yeah. three. He's like, ten whatever, yeah, ten yeah. more courses. I've got bills, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> He's working me. He's on payroll. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys give Phil some love click like tell us the answer to the question get your calculators out and uh, and hopefully we'll see you in the next lesson take it easy guys bye cheers chaps and chap -esses. yeah and chap <laughs> <laughs> um, so here is first of all our root position we've already done that that was our introduction okay round I go get to A get to B B finish so we start off A minor in the second inversion, then D dominant, come up here, then G major in the second, C major, seventh in second, F sharp minor, seventh at five in second, B dominant, and then we go to E. Well, I've got two films I can play there, can't I? Or there.